today I'm going to be showing you how to make jollof rice. I'm going to be showing you rice in two ways. There's a quick express way, which takes approximately two minutes in the microwave, or there's the from raw using long grained white rice. And we can do that in the crock pot express as well. I have two crock pot expresses side by side. So the first one I'm going to be using as rice and the second one I can be using for the mixture of the jollof rice. It doesn't matter if you've got two or one, you can make the rice before and then you can make the jollof rice after. Or if you wish to, you can have the rice on the side ready for adding the jollof mixture and you can combine the two at your preference. They do have their benefits. If you want to omit the whole thing altogether, then just use express rice. So in order to do that, we have tilde or everyday express microwave rice. Two minutes in the microwave will get you a portion. I'm gonna suggest two sachets. Or alternatively, for a more cost-effective option, you can make it yourself using two cups of rice to two and three quarter cups of water. And that way you'll get your rice in approximately 10 minutes doing rice in the crock pot express. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So, all we have to do is make sure it's all turned on, add the rice, add the water, make sure the lid is set to lock and not vent. We have two ways to do this. There's a rice setting on here, which we can use, or we can use the manual. Now, to make life easier, I can suggest the rice setting, which suggests 12 minutes. All we have to do is press rice and start. And that will cook for 12 minutes. The Crock Pot Express will take a few minutes to come up to pressure, a few minutes to come up to temperature, once it has come up to temperature, the timer will begin to count down and that will give you a 12 minute countdown. So here we have the second crock pot. This is the crock pot express. Um, we're just using the first one to cook the rice and the second one, the crock pot express, will make the chicken. So the first thing we want to do is introduce ourselves to the ingredients. We have coconut oil. Coconut oil is probably one of the best and healthiest things you can possibly use to cook a curry. It's got a slightly lower melting point and a slightly lower cooking point. Therefore, you'll find the flavor will be much better preserved. The health and the nutrition will be much better preserved and cooking will be easier as it has a lower temperature and therefore you're less likely to burn things and the food will retain its succulents. We have Madras curry powder. This is a mild Madras curry powder. So if you wish to, you can add spice to give it a bit more spice, but in this, I'm going to make it mild. We have bay leaves. There's certainly a homely vibe, homely feel to, to bay leaves, which is um, what gives them their popularity. We have simple salt and pepper. Everyday peppers. So we have green pepper, red pepper, I'd recommend approximately five peppers. Medium to large peppers are generally recommended if you can. Frozen peas. Now frozen peas add a huge amount of nutrition and are probably one of the best and easiest ways to add color, vibrance and nutrition to your dish. We also have raw chicken, approximately 1.2 kilograms of raw chicken. This is diced, ready to go. And last but not least, we have our chicken stock. Now this is 200 millimeters approximately of chicken stock. That's approximately a cup and a half. So now I've introduced you to the ingredients we're going to use today. I would suggest in order to make up the ingredients, I often use little tools like these. Now these are your measuring spoons and measuring cups. You have an assortment from very tiny, from a quarter teaspoon, all the way up to one cup. Now it depends on how you measure things. You can measure in the form of cups and read things in the form of cups, 
or you can do by weight, dependent on your preference, and put things on the scales and measure them like that. It all depends. Having cups and these little measures makes life a lot easier when it comes to weighing things and measuring because they're there ready. All you have to do is fill the cup or fill the appropriate size and place it straight into the bowl. So in order to begin, we need to bring the crock pot to sear or brown. Now that's gonna take a few minutes to come up to temperature. We also need to remove the lid as we're using this essentially like a frying pan. So we're now ready to add the coconut oil. So as you can see, the coconut oil is now melted and it's ready to begin to add the ingredients. So first of all, we want to add salt and pepper. And our peppers. The timer has just begun and this timer is set to 12 minutes. So that's going to cook away in the background there. And by that time, hopefully, the job of rice will be ready and we'll be ready to combine and go to the next step. Now one thing I like to do, which I haven't suggested, is add lentils, red lentils or mixed lentils. My suggestion is add whichever you prefer. If you wish to add half a cup of either or, you'll find that it will add an extra consistency to the dish, it will add more nutrients and it will give it a huge amount of colour and a little bit of variety as well. So you can see with the mixed lentils, all sorts of different colours, yellow peas, red lentils, black lentils, there's an entire spectrum of colour, lots of healthy nutrition there, so that's a good one to add. Now the peppers are cooked nicely, we can begin to add the chicken. We want to let that fry until it's coloured up nicely. So we've got approximately five minutes to go with the rice until that's ready to depressurize. And the chicken's beginning to colour up nicely. So we just want to add the curry powder. Now, so this stage we want to add the lentils. That's half a cup of lentils. Give those a stir. We have bay leaves. That's five bay leaves. Frozen peas. chicken stock. Once again it's a good idea to stir the chicken stock to make sure you're not getting any bits left at the bottom. Now whilst that simmers away nicely we're almost ready for the rice. Meanwhile I'm going to tidy up. So we can switch off the cooking mode on the crock pot express whilst we do the rice.
You can get a small funnel which will redirect the steam. I recommend these. Alternatively, you can put a tea towel over the top, depending on your preference. With the rice, now the rice is ready, we're just depressurizing and we can switch this off. Now that the crock pot's depressurized, we can really remove the lid. Here we have fantastic rice that requires no draining. It's ready to add to the jollof rice. We now have the two dishes side by side, ready to go. So we just need to transfer the rice into the chicken. But as you can see, the rice is lovely and fluffy, perfectly cooked and ready to transfer. So now we've added the rice to the dish, we just need to give it a good stir, turn it all around, turn it all over to make sure it all combines nicely. And we're now ready to put the lid on. Set this to lock, make sure it's turned off vent and that's closed. We now just need to set it to 12 minutes. So that's manual 12 minutes or if you wish to we can use the rice setting on 12 minutes. If we were just using plain microwave rice we could just add these straight from the sachet into the mixture of the chicken. Once that was done instead of moving the rice across, you would just use this in place of. Depending on your preference, the two options are there, depending on convenience and what suits you. Meanwhile, whilst this is cooking, we're waiting for it to come up to temperature and cook for 12 minutes. I'm going to do some tidying up. And one thing we can do just to speed up the process, when we begin to hear the pressure increasing, we can give the lid a gentle tap and that will set the pressure sooner. So the crock pot's now up to temperature and pressure. It's just doing the countdown on 12 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna set up the plates, get drinks ready and sort out cutlery. So the crock pot express is finished cooking. We just need to depressurize. My suggestion would be if you wish to add a towel onto the valve. And that will ensure the steam doesn't purge, it goes it just into the towel. We can stop the crock pot, we don't need it to keep warm. So now the crock pot's depressurized, we're ready to unlock and remove the lid. Perfect light flavour, absolutely fantastic chicken. The succulence of the chicken is incredible. Still very hot. Hmm. 
Mm. Lovely tang of peppers. This is such an incredible dish. The fact that it's so easy to make, such a great budget meal. It goes so far. We have lentils, we have peas, we have peppers, chicken, rice, and the fantastic flavour from the spices. It all combines together to make such an incredible dish. Seriously guys, you've got to try this for how healthy this is, how quick and easy it is to make. This is an absolute brilliant recipe. Now there's still an awful lot left over. And one of the things I like to do is meal prep. So that means that you can cook one meal and you can get potentially two, three, four, up to several meals from one session of cooking. That means that when you want the convenience of putting something in a freezer, you can just defrost it, cook it straight away, cook it in the microwave, or place it back into the crock pot for um, a further 12 to 15 minutes um, on the trivet in a bowl. It means you can then cook things with virtually zero effort as they've already been pre-done and you just take them out of the freezer. So here we have approximately four additional portions So all we have to do now is wait for these to cool ever so slightly and put them straight into the freezer. And that gives us an additional four portions ready to eat whenever it's convenient. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video using the two crock pots. We have had an interesting time of making rice and the chicken together. And it just goes to show that there are various different methods that you can come to the same result of a cooked meal. This is cooking the easy way. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making the food and I hope you're going to enjoy eating the food as much as I'm going to enjoy eating the food. Please like and subscribe to be the first to see new recipes as they come available. Thanks again. See you in the next one.